Olá pessoal, voltamos aqui diretamente do estúdio do Fórum E-Commerce Brasil 2017. Eu tenho a honra de ter aqui no estúdio a Juliana, que acabou de dar sua palestra, e a gente vai fazer alguma entrevista com ela. So first of all, thank you very much, Juliana, for being here with us. So the first question is about time. We had yesterday Hans Donner speak about a new idea of time. Before, uh, people say a lot about time is money, so everything needs to be very quick. Nowadays, people say also that time is life. And he said uh, the new idea of time when people when consumers try to, to find something they need very they, they need something very specific and they need something very clear so how do you how do you think how do you use this idea of time for omni channel and your in e-commerce so um, first of all thank you for having me here um, I gave an example during my presentation then I, I want to uh, talk about it again um, for the the omnichannel term is just for us as retailers the uh, client just wants to find the brand wherever he is so that means for example if, if a person is right now at his office and he wants to uh, buy some clothing he's going to uh, search through his desktop start the purchase maybe he doesn't have time because he has to run quickly to his uh, a class or to his house so he has to stop the purchase he is driving to his house and there's a traffic jam and uh, he has to wait more time so he's going to say huh i want to finish my purchase he takes his phone the jeans that he chose at his office, at his desktop, is already there because the mobile knows it's the same person that was on the desktop. Um, he chooses another pair of shoes. Then he has to start driving again, but he didn't have time to pay. So what he's gonna do, he's going to call the company. He's gonna say, hey, I just left a pair of shoes and a pair of jeans at my basket. I want to pay it right now because I didn't have the time. Um, so a sales agent is going to help him get the payment, he's going to close the sale and he's going to get the, the goods delivered to his house at, this, at the next day. So that's time. They don't have time and they don't want to waste time and they want to do that wherever they are. So uh, the omni-channel is that, is be wherever the client is, whenever he is and I think that that's the main purpose of it. So the second question we were talking, we had Rakesh here talking about the time delivery because nowadays uh, this is one of the most what people complain the most. So how do you think for the Omni Channel in your in your field you can work together with logistics to to improve the, the experience? So um, yes, that's a problem. Um, in Colombia, we don't face it as you do here in Brazil because your country is larger. Ours it isn't, uh, but the but the first thing we do, you you need to offer uh, like many types of uh, delivery. Um, for example, us Colombians, we buy a lot from AliExpress, and there's people that are willing to wait one or two months for the product because they don't find it anywhere else or because it's cheaper. But the, AliExpress also offers like one day delivery. Oh, there are other companies as Amazon that uh, offer express delivery. They have in, even the drones that deliver in within hours. So uh, you need to make sure to offer everything. So the client chooses what is best for you. One time you will be in a hurry. You want it like in less than two or three hours. Sometimes you're okay. You don't that you don't need that in a hurry. So you can wait two, three, five days, and you will choose the standard delivery and it will be cheaper for you. Um, so I think it's having options, what you need to do. Okay. So, and the last one about Queiroz Velez, you guys are not here in Brazil yet. So the question is, are you, do you guys intend to, to bring this to Brazil? Um, yes, it's a shame we're not already in Brazil. Of course, it's in our plans. Uh, we're already in other Latin American countries. Uh, we think Brazil is one of the best countries to be in. Uh, right now, the thing is, it's difficult to get into your country for a fashion industry uh, because there are a lot of, like I say, maybe obstacles, tax is something we have to deal with. So we were thinking about opening stores 
is not possible. So we're thinking about opening an e-commerce, and that's I think that's the way we're going to expand internationally through e-commerce. So I really hope we will open it soon. I, yeah, like soon, maybe within one two years, uh, and maybe start with marketplaces. We can start w talking with Netshoes or Mercado Libre or something like that. I think that could be even easier or yeah, like more fast. All right, we hope we can make it. We're going to be waiting for you. All right, so thank you very much for, for your interview. Thank you for your time. Do you want to say any last words? Um, thank you for having me. I'm honored to be here. I love Brazil, and I want to keep coming. Um, just, I think, the main conclusion I want to leave is that it's not about omnichannel. It's about a single client. So the, for the client, it's just one brand. The term Omnichannel is for us as retailers, so we can't get like confused about it. So we work for the client, so we always have to think as one of them. So that's I think that's the main conclusion here. Right. So thank you. Thank you. Então pessoal, isso foi a Juliana aqui com a gente. Não percam, continuem assistindo a gente ao vivo aqui no Fórum E-Commerce Brasil 2017.